the battlefield of Survivor Series will soon bear witness to the clash of SmackDown's most fierce and determined warriors. A war built on gold, broken friendships, reunited bonds, respect, and the absence of it. For months, Asuka and Io Sky have waged war against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark in a relentless pursuit to defend their claim as the premier force in the tag team division. The rivalry has pushed both sides to their absolute limits, with no quarter given. Enter Kyrie Sane, the pirate princess who has returned, not as the bright-eyed warrior of old, but as a more cunning and ruthless version. Aligned once more with her Kabuki warrior allies, Kyrie Sane has brought a new level of danger, using underhanded tactics and sneak attacks to ensure victory at any and all costs. But not all battles have been waged on the front lines of the tag team division. Back in July, the young prodigy, Roxanne Perez, made a shocking statement by betraying Raquel Rodriguez. The message was clear. Perez wasn't on SmackDown to make friends. She was there to claim her place as women's world champion. Zelina Vega, the first lady of the LWO, has faced defeat at the hands of her Survivor Series opponents far too many times. But now, she stands resilient, refusing to be a stepping stone any longer. Vega and Raquel, fierce and imposing, driven by past betrayals and newfound alliances. Respect hard-earned, rivalries inflamed, Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Submission, and Zoe Stark, a breakout superstar of 2024, round out this formidable team. Each woman seeking to reclaim what has been taken and to pay back the heartbreaking kind. On the other side, the team draped in gold and united by ambition. Roxanne Perez, the women's world champion, leads the Kabuki Warriors, Kyrie Sane, Asuka, and Io Sky into the unforgiving structure that is War Games. Eight Warriors, two teams, what arena that will test them all. This is not just a match, it's the ultimate proving ground. When the women of SmackDown step into the match beyond, only the strongest will emerge victorious. The question isn't who will fight, it's who will survive. Who will be the last women standing inside War Games?